Shalom, brother and sister truth seekers. I'm going to uh, walk through and, I guess, summarize all the uh, the data from around the world that was collected, uh, Sandal data, um, just so, uh, you know, some people might not be aware of other people who were collecting, so you can kind of see what everyone was seeing and kind of what it looks like, where the reliable data is. And, I mean, ultimately, you can make up your own mind what you think about things. Um, I'm probably not going to look at too I'm not going to look at everyone's pictures. I'm just going to, to look at the highlights, the most reliable data, and then some uh, some of the more tricky places. But then ultimately, you know, I, I guess if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me at a voice of truth and love at gmail.com. Or uh, there's the Facebook group. You can jump on there, leave questions, or uh, comment on this video. Um, but there's this folder, uh, check the link in the description below the video for this Dropbox folder, and it has all the data organized, so you can look at anything we're about to talk about in this table, um, just by clicking on that link. See, this is what you'll see when you open it up. Um, a summary of that table is sitting here. I might need to update it slightly. But, uh, yeah, the, the one that we're about to go through is sitting right here in that folder. Um, and, but you can drill down by year, and then by month, and these are the Gregorian months. And then by day, these are the Gregorian dates. And we can look to see, and then um, trying to organize these. The, um, what you'll see in these, these folders are... I just put these numbers to kind of help organize them uh, by time zone approximately. They're probably not all exactly right, but it kind of, it was getting a little chaotic to try and find uh, somebody in here without kind of seeing them in, in time zone progression. So uh, that's how you can, uh, you can get in and see the data we're going to talk about. So without further ado, it, it was a tricky year this year. Um, we were blessed to have so many people collecting sundial data 42 people collecting data this year and uh but a, a lot of them you know this this was a first time for uh, there you know a lot of people are learning even i learned some things this time around and so i mean it, it was um it, it was a challenge to to try and understand the, the results of what's happening and um yeah it it looks <laughs> Uh, it looks like um, how this table works is I highlighted in green the ones that I felt were most reliable. Uh, like just I have every reason looking at how they collected their data to believe that, that these are reliable. Um, and then I flagged just there's at least just one here that usually is very reliable but it doesn't seem the results they got don't seem to correspond with the people around them. Like there are five other people right around this uh, this data set here that seem to be getting different things. Um, so anyway, uh, I think I'll just go through the reliable data uh, quickly, and uh, yeah, we'll we'll just try and get through this quickly uh, as possible. So uh, the first one's Faith Child, and uh, again, you, you can go in and you can look at these uh, if you want to see pictures of any of this, just find the dates. Um, but uh, I think I'm, for the most part, I'm just going to talk through these notes of what people were seeing. So, um, so okay, the, this first one just, just happens to be me. I mean, that's just the order it came, came in, but... Faith Child, uh, West Virginia. So I thought I was seeing the straight line on the 19th. And I had 10 days of data um, with a sharp tip gnomon that's important. Some people are using uh, balls and screw heads and stuff. And we need to make sure our gnomon has a single sharp tip at the top. Uh, I think that's a very important thing. Otherwise, it kind of, I think it has the potential to mess with, with the data. Uh, it actually, I mean, it, it definitely seems that way. It seems like we're actually seeing some, some curves flipped and weird things happening that you wouldn't expect uh, when people are using round ball gnomons or uh, different things like that. So we, we want to make sure our gnomons are sharp, sharp tips. So that's an important thing I'm looking at in these data sets. Uh, but 10 hours is good. 
like in the past i've said i i did say like eight hours is kind of a dead like minimum like bare minimum uh and i have seen i think people be successful with eight hours in fact i think uh yeah so but but the problem is like with the inexperience like people uh you know there there is not hard but there are little things human errors that can happen people looking at the shadow having a shaky hand or maybe the marks that they're using are big and bulky and not as refined or accurate as they should be so i mean the the recommendation is to try to get nine to ten hours of data to offset those kinds of little errors um it's really in the early morning and late evening that we see the shadow hook the most so i mean anyone who is getting like nine to ten hours of data is definitely that's uh that's what we're looking for for one of these solid confirmations you'll see an example later in this set where somebody had eight hours of data and it looked like they were seeing a straight line on two days and uh it's just if they had a couple more hours of data they would probably see those curves but anyway so yes uh, west virginia i felt pretty good about that 10 hours of data sharp tip nomen i used two different uh boards sundial boards and i got the same results on both boards uh and i saw flipped curves on the 18th and the 20th so for me the straight line was on the 19th um here is another witness in Florida that was solid 11 hours of data with a sharp tip gnomon. And uh, data confirmed the 20th to have a post-equinox curve. So uh, that means the straight line had to be the 19th for them. Uh, we've never seen the straight line be as early as the 18th. I suppose anything's possible, but uh, that's uh, that's not been this. So this, this confirmed the 19th to be the straight line. Another reliable data set coming out of Tennessee. Uh, this gentleman had 11 hours of data and three different sundial boards and one taller yard sundial. Uh, it was like uh, five, four or five foot tall post of some sort. And uh, he was confirming the uh, post equinox curve on the 20th. Okay, so where are we, Tennessee, right now? So we're still in the East Coast. Uh, Michigan was another excellent data set. Uh, they had 11 hours of data, sharp tip nomen. Uh, they confirmed it with two different boards, and they uh, they confirmed the 20th to be the post equinox curve. So that's 19th for the straight line for them. This is all on the uh, east coast. And um, let's see, just jumping to to the other like most reliable data sets, we've got this one coming out of the uh, central time zone. Uh, and they got ten and a half hours of data, and they were using a uh, sharp tip gnome and a pencil. I think that actually might be the thing that I try to use in the future, because even with a screw, funny things can happen. Like we saw a light bending around the threads of the screw in the early morning, and it just kind of distorts things. You just can't even see like bifurcated double points. And it, this was just excellent, though. With a pencil, you should look at some of the data. Uh, from the uh, the 19th, he uh, he was able to just see such a good shadow even very early in the morning, like 6:30 in the morning. Uh, but he confirmed the straight line on the 19th and the post equinox curve on the 20th. So pretty solid confirmation for the 19th. This is now Central Time Zone. So uh, yeah, so far, uh, just keeping track, the the green line, uh, the Eastern United States is where. Um, it seems people were seeing the straight line first. And I mean, just to, I mean, a lot, the, some of these small ones around uh, agree. There, There is, um, I think most of them all do agree. Uh, you can check these out again. Um, there was one that didn't seem to agree, but it had, uh, it had these points to consider here that, that made the, the data inconclusive unfortunately wasn't really sure what was happening there but definitely feel free to uh, check that out and if you want to get in touch with this individual to talk more about their data you can but um, kind of jumping over them and looking at other people with with more reliable data sets uh, we're going out to, in Montana now we had a couple more very good 
data sets, uh, 10 plus hours, sharp tip gnomon. They saw the uh, straight line on the 19th and a flipped curve on the 20th. And it just, um, yeah, it was a good data set. This one was uh, 10.5 hours uh, and sharp tip gnomon. And they saw all three shadow patterns. This is an excellent data set to check out. You want to see a good example of what you can expect to see three days of data back to back these uh, these these folks did an excellent job with their data so it came from the 19th so now we're from the um from the west coast to central uh get pushing west to the united states it looks like the 19th was a straight line then we have we have this data set coming from remnant of light and they are very experienced uh, with their sundials, and they got you know 10 hours, 10 hours and 15 minutes of data. They used sharp tip gnomon, uh, but they believe that they were seeing the pre-equinox curve on the 19th, and uh, the straight line on the 20th. They also used an armillary, um, and I so I don't know. I, I spent a lot of time looking at their videos. They have a couple videos on their YouTube channel, Remnant of Light. I just like stared at uh, the data. And I mean, I tried to understand what was going on. I guess um, I just, I don't know. I noticed a couple interesting things. I took some screen captures from their video, uh, maybe for the 20th, let's see. 20th, okay. Remnants of light, and okay, yeah, so here is just a, a sample of what was going on there. So this is this is their first morning point. You can see it's right on the line, and look at these points. They're like real close to the line here, and then at the end of the day, these points are also real close to the line, but for some reason, somewhere in the middle of the day, that there are, and, and you can see, uh, this is timestamped to, to where it is in their video, the March 20th, 2024 video. Uh, but these these are coming off the line somewhat substantially, which is um, just leads me to wonder, like if this is supposed to be the straight line, something seems to be going on because they're these ones are quite off the line, but um, the ones in the morning are right on the line. Uh, well, opposite. This is morning, the other one was evening. So I don't know. Uh, really tough call. Um, it just it just doesn't seem to be lining up with the majority of the other witnesses. Um, but anything is possible, but it just, uh, yeah, I, I'm not sure what to say. I mean, I know they use the armillary too, and they believed the armillary was confirming the straight line on the 20th as well. But, I mean, if you look through this data set, I'm not going to dwell on the armillaries too much, but there were, like, at least two or three other uh, people with armillaries who were thinking that they were seeing the 19th. So, I don't know. Uh, I just don't know. It, it kind of seems to be a major outlier uh, that I, everyone should be aware of and... Uh, You'll need to make the best decision you can, but um, I, I'm not sure. Like I said, they're just kind of surrounded by uh, all these people. So, like, this is Montana, and, uh, and Mo, um, Remnant of Light is in Utah. So all all these people are, like, right above them. Uh, and then um, these couple witnesses are actually to the, uh, the west of them in... Um, Oregon and uh, Washington states, and they were they were solid witnesses too. Um, Ten point twenty five hours of data. They did do it with a ball. Well, they did two different data sets: one with a ball pin gnomon, and then one with a taller uh, dart gnomon. And uh, we pretty much just ignore the ball pin uh, data. It was showing something funky, but um, the the darts which is taller, was showing pretty much a perfect straight line. And uh, that was on, um, it was just, yeah, 10 hours and 25, uh, 15 minutes of uh, data. So looked pretty reliable. Um, and then one more reliable witness here in the United States was, uh, oh, 
10 hours of data, sharp tip gnomon, they saw a straight line on the 19th. Uh, so I mean, just go ahead and check it out. I can't, as I pick through it, there's, there's nothing I, I mean, it looks, looks pretty solid. So I mean, it, you know, you've got, you've got kind of five witnesses, come, you know, in this area, and then you've got, you've got this outlier here, and I'm, I'm just not really sure what's going on with that. Uh, but, but feel free to reach out. This is their uh, their email. Uh, check out their YouTube channel. And uh, well, just yeah, have loving loving iron sharpening iron. We're just we're just trying to figure out, uh, trying to look at everything, test all things, and figure out what what uh, what uh, what's going on with our creator's time. So anyway, from what this looks like so far it looks like from western united states to uh, no eastern united states pretty much the entire united states saw the straight line on the 19th and then uh one more interesting data set that was coming out of hawaii and uh they had uh almost nine hours of data on the 19th and uh they were thinking they were seeing the straight line and then the 20th, they only had seven and a half hours of data, but they thought they were seeing a post-equinox curve. That's not, uh, we don't we don't like to hang our hat on, on really anything less than eight hours. It, it's not, uh, it's, it's hard to be uh, conclusive with that, but I mean, 8.7 hours is decent, and they were seeing, they thought they were seeing the straight line. Uh, I mean, and then, and then the post-equinox curve would, would just kind of follow that uh, as a second witness um, but yeah so all the way to Hawaii it seemed like it seemed like there wasn't any great reason to doubt uh, it seemed like the straight line was being seen all the way to Hawaii so then we get to uh, Allen in Eastern Australia so the thing that happens, though, realize is we're crossing over the man-made international date line. So it's still the it's still the same 24-hour cycle that the sun is traveling west, but it switches Gregorian dates once it crosses this line. So then for Australia, um, Alan thought he was seeing the straight line on the 20th, and he had 10 hours of data, sharp tip gnomon, and he saw the pre equinox curve on the 19th, and... Uh, pre-equinox curve on the 19th, and I guess he saw the post-equinox curve on the 20th. Oh, I think I have that written wrong. Uh, I think I might have just copy and pasted that, but we can look at his data set real quick. Uh, let's see, from the 20th, because I believe he saw the straight line on the 20th. There's Alan. I might have just wrote that wrong. Yeah, he thought it was straight. So this is the 20th. So we had an early morning point, late evening point, and all those points look like they're right on the line. So just my bad with the note there. Let's see if I can fix that real quick. So he saw, I think he did see the pre-equinox curve on the 19th, and then I meant to say he saw the straight line, and straight line. Okay, so even though this is a different Gregorian date, the 20th, it's still just uh, a progression from what we saw in, um, in Hawaii and the United States, like we were seeing it on the 19th. So we are at the beginning and he's just following suit, but because we crossed the uh, man-made international date line, the Gregorian date changes. So that was pretty much actually the easy part. Things did get very <laughs> complicated for um, this zone here. And uh, hopefully my recording doesn't get cut off here. I don't want to go too long. I got to do this in under 30 minutes, but um, this is... This is what I'm, unfortunately, what it, what all I can say about the data, like it looks like the creator's international date line must have landed somewhere in here. And a lot of people are, we'll, we'll go through this data, a lot of people are thinking that it actually landed probably right on the um, west coast of, uh, of Africa. But there is, unfortunately, 
in this grouping of data sets as I scroll down here none of them uh, like down here that's that's West Virginia so up here above none of these I flagged as like solid because none of them unfortunately there it's just uh, n none of them was like a perfect confirmation uh, you know that left me with no questions so I'm just not 100% sure I can't say this was absolute so uh so the last one that i can say looked pretty good was uh was alan here in uh eastern australia so now when we come through here i think we'll just walk through this data but like i said the two possibilities that i see are uh it seems potentially that the creators international date line landed here on the uh on the east coast of africa or it actually seems like it might have landed uh, right around here. And the the interesting thing with that is that it potentially seems to line up more with, with the past data from the past two Equinox events. I mean, I'm willing to say that that was all, we did something went wrong with that and maybe we just weren't understanding the, the progression of the Creators International Dateline. But if you remember, maybe you've seen this image before, but this was uh, spring 2023, this was fall. 2023 September we're just tracking where the equinox was seen first the straight line was seen first in central United States last spring and then last fall it was seen off the coast of uh, the the United States and so it seems like this spring we would see it somewhere around Australia that was the that was the ballpark and so from what I'm seeing, in modern science, or Stellarium actually was saying the sun would hit its, um, it would be bisected by the celestial equator literally right here over the central uh, Australia. And so what that potentially means, I don't know that Stellarium has that quite right, like the sun crossing the celestial equator in a moment of time, but Potentially, what it's showing us is just the solar noon position of, of the first person who sees it. So the sun would actually start cutting that straight path somewhere out here to the east uh, for sunrise to give this person here at this location, or this location, the um, that straight line shadow that they need to see in the morning. So anyway, um, like I said, this is the last one we can confirm with, with certainty. Um, and right off the bat here in the Philippines is right here. There was a truth seeker who they thought they only had seven hours of data, but they got data on the 19th and the 20th. And they thought they were seeing a straight line on the 19th and the post equinox curve on the 20th, but it was only seven hours of data. So again, I don't like to say anything is absolute with a data set like that. Um, but it's possible. Uh, so, I mean, we're going to look at all of these and you're going to see a lot of these like eight hours, eight hours. Um, this one was 10 hours, but it was on, it wasn't on the 19th or the 20th. Um, <clears throat> so potentially, um, this witness right off the bat here in the Philippines is actually, it, it, it is in harmony with the thought process that the creators international date line must have landed right here and potentially split Australia into two halves, kind of like how we saw it do with the United States last year. And that would be in harmony with the data we've been tracking for the past two Equinox events. Uh, but it can't be said for sure. I can't say that for sure. So just, I'm sharing my opinion. I think it would take one more Equinox event to kind of regroup ourselves and, and and see like okay if it was here then then is next fall is it going to be here or when we do it again next fall will it be like here so we can kind of confirm once again like uh did something go wrong with the past two equinox event readings or maybe all this data that we're about to go through here really was questionable just due to lack of experience and other things but so those are the two possibilities Creators International Dateline, I think, could have been right here over Australia, or potentially looking at this data, coming up with the best conclusion we can. Uh, it looks like it could have landed off the um, west coast of Africa. 
So looking at some of these, um, this data set was uh, in Dubai. See, this is an example. They got eight hours of data, but it looks straight on both the 19th and the 20th. Um, so what to do with that? Potentially, this data set from Dubai could also support the theory of the creator's international date line starting here. Maybe they saw the straight line on the 19th, and therefore it's in harmony with this. And you know, it's uh, they are at the they are at the start of time. It's either it's a question of are you at the start or the end of time, and uh, you know, it's just you can look at their data for yourself. But unfortunately, it just was inconclusive. Um, uh, just seeing the straight line on on both the 19th and the 20th, eight hours of data not really ideal to only have eight hours of data, so hard to say conclusively, but these first two points definitely have the potential to support the international date line being here. Uh, but then we start to get into um, all this other stuff, and it just becomes <laughs> less clear. Uh, but so Croatia, um, they saw eight hours of data, and it appeared to be straight on the 20th. Uh, it was very rough data, though. Uh, let me pull that one up just so you can get an idea of what some of these data sets look like. Uh, what is that? The 20th. 20th. Uh, 20th. Croatia. And I mean, I'm just so glad to see people trying this, but uh, we do have to realize that a lot of people are learning, and so... Uh, so yeah, this is this is the data set. I think these dots are from uh, their previous day of data, and uh, then they've got these dots for. Uh, so I mean, it, it, it's it's a, it's a tough call. Uh, <laughs> I, it, I think this was their first time doing it this year, so um, it's kind of what a lot of these look like. But um, let's see here. Okay, on the okay, so this this was um this was one that looked actually pretty uh you know eight hours of data on the nineteenth. This is Uganda, and then uh, the twentieth, seven hours of data appears to be straight. See, um, that's not uh, ideal only seven hours of data like if you only get six to seven hours of data you're probably going to see a straight line on multiple days around the equinox event like i would bet with seven hours of data the line would look straight on the 18th like pr probably all the way to uh even today the 23rd with only seven hours of data um so i mean i can't i can't say for sure here but it, it did look like they were seeing a pre equinox curve on the 19th uh, but only later in the afternoon. So I don't, uh, let, um, again, I don't want to run out of uh, time <clears throat> on this video, but you can, you can, well, I think we'll look at that one. We'll, we'll try and look at these. If I get caught up, I, I think you get the general idea. There are only, uh, there are only a few more. Well, I guess there are a number more. <laughs> oh gosh. Um, well, yeah, so let let me try and pull that up real quick. The 20th, Equator. 20th, uh, yeah, where are you? Uganda. On the 20th. Oh, I think I wanted to see the 19th, actually. So this this was what they were calling straight, but it was only seven hours of data. Uh, we wanted the 19th. Okay, Uganda. So, I mean, it does look... Uh, 9 a.m., 5 p.m., so that's eight hours of data. Again, not extremely ideal, but, yeah, I mean, it, it looks like there are a few points coming off the line north is up here, so that would be the, um, potentially the, the smiley face under the north, but it it's pretty close. Those are some pretty big points, so, and it's only eight hours of data. Um, so, yeah, just consider it. You'll have to look at this and ultimately make up your own mind. <laughs> um, just, just sharing my opinion, and like I said, I think we'll we'll be able to confirm with the fall equinox 
uh, when we when we see where the creator's international date line is, then I think it will be a tell telltale. Sorry about that; it did cut me off. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and just record. I I can only do it 30 minutes at a time with this uh, whatever it's called chip, Microsoft to uh, clip champ. <laughs> Uh, if anyone knows of any better video editing software, let, let me know. But uh, let's just continue, I guess, now. We'll, we'll, we'll finish this. Um, so, okay, yeah, so Dan. Um, yeah, potentially. The, the potentially seeing a curve on the 19th. I'll say that's probably one of the, the better potential witnesses. That's why I actually put the date here. Like, if I really thought it was very inconclusive, I, I just left it blank. But if there was potential, I put the date. So I think there's potential here. And, uh, what's this one? Oh, and Cro 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 Croatia has potential as well. Eight hours, not ideal, but uh, potentially. It, it's definitely potential. So, <clears throat> um, this one... Ooh. Okay, I thought there was a date here once upon a time, but I say tough call, 19th. Uh, this was tricky. Like, I received data, like, at right up on, uh, you know, up on, uh, and this morning I was receiving updated data. Let's take a look real quick. So, the 19th and the 20th. So it looks like the 19th had data points that were straddling the line, and the uh, I don't know, it's pretty straight. I, I think that note was meant to be for the 20th. Let me put 20th equal and 20th. Okay, let's look at those pictures. <clears throat> And I think I dumped them all into the 20th folder out with an extra screen capture of my own line dropped on top of the data. Let's make sure it's not where we want to be. Are we... Can I just... Did I lose my spot there? Yeah, here we go. That big one. Okay, yeah, the... Um, Oh, yes. There we go. Ignore that. Yeah, I wasn't sure. Um, all right, so this is... Uh, I spent some time getting oriented. Um, I want to see the 19th. If I click the 19th, this is the 20th. So here's the 20th. So um, north is up. And it just looks like... I see a point above the line, I see a point below the line, below the line, above the line. So I see a mix of points below, above and below. So I can't, I can't call that a, I can't call that a, a, a pre-equinox curve or a post-equinox curve. I mean, potentially that's the straight line and uh, this, there's just a little bit of human error and uh, this line is cutting through. And this is, this is the bigger data set. This is 9.7 hours of data, I think. Um, let me see. Uh, 45 minutes, sorry. Close to 10 hours. No, yeah, 9 hours, 15 minutes. So, um, that's the 19th. Uh, you know, I... <laughs> It's, it looks like it's cutting right through the average of those points. So that's that's a potential witness for the 19th, which is not in agreement with these two. I didn't write it because I just I just wasn't sure. Um, but potentially, as I look at this, like that is splitting the data set. So you kind of just have to make up your own mind um, what you're seeing there. But then they had data on the 20th. What does I say there? 9 to 9 hours of data. It looks pretty straight until someone collected points at the end of the day. Uh, so let's just look. So yeah, they've got this. And actually, um, north is up in this picture as well. And I see 
Uh, I actually I dropped this line on there, so I put it through the middle of the first point. I put it through the middle of the last point. I'm not sure why things switched to a different color ink uh, right at the end of the day, but like uh, you know, some of these points look below the line, and uh, you know, it's just it's just hard to be conclusive. Um, you know, they kind of look straight, but I I just can't. Um, uh, you can't. I can't say for sure. So you're, you're. It's here. You can make your. You can look at it. Make your decision. But this is a close call. I would say. I mean, from their data on the 19th, it didn't look like a, a pre-curve at that point. Pre-equinox curve looked like it could have been a straight line splitting the data set. So, kind of like, um, yeah, yeah. It's just something to consider. So if it was the 19th then that again would be a witness for the international dateline starting you know here because uh, because they would be they would be at the start of time and not the end of time so um they're seeing it on the 19th so 19th 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 it comes all the way around and, to, and then switches to the 20th for these folks and then progresses and it, it wouldn't be the 20th so it may it's something to consider um, but there were people who felt more sure. Um, Wendy, she usually does an excellent job in South Africa, but unfortunately she thought something compromised her board. So essentially she said disregard her data. Uh, if, uh, Wendy, if you see this and you feel otherwise, feel free to chime in. Um, but uh, yeah, we'll we'll just we'll just, uh, we'll just move on then. And look at uh, like one more witness for South Africa, and I I actually put a date on this one, so I must have thought there was a chance something that was being seen here. Oh yeah, this one's rough. Okay, I, I only I put the date there not because I was confident, but because he was confident. <laughs> so um, I just. Uh, he was he was looking at a couple different methods of sundial. He had a little print off of uh, of a sundial, and he was a very pretty thing. Um, but I'd like to see uh, I'd like to see data like on the day before, the day of, and the day after to confirm. And I just haven't seen that yet, so I I can't really say for sure here. I really I mean, like I said. Um, he was confident this is what he's seeing, but I'm not, I, I can't say. So, I mean, really, uh, yeah, I mean, really, like, I, I, I hope you can see it at this point that nothing, nothing is striking me so far as absolute, like, it's just really, it's a hard, it's, 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 it's tough calls. I mean, there, there are a few that are, are, you know, pointing one way and a few that are pointing another way, and it's just, it's just hard to say for sure. <clears throat> so then um, we have the Isle of Wight, and they were um, they were pretty set on uh, thinking that they had seen the straight line on the 20th. Um, let's see here. But appeared straight line on the 20th. I don't know why I say but. So 8.5 hours of data. So it's not the biggest spread of data, but uh, it appeared to be straight on the 20th. Oh, and the 21st. Ah. Uh, okay. Yeah. Updated photos going towards the north post equinox. So again, they felt strongly it was the 20th. But let's look real quick at this, because um, it, it again, you just have to uh, just just sharing the, a critical uh, uh, just a look at this uh, for for those who may be less experienced, uh, but just food for thought. So I think these are updated pictures. Here is the one I was looking at. <clears throat> okay. All right, so um, the purple points are from the 20th and north. Okay, the question is Boeing towards the north, question mark. So here's north. And the post equinox curve is going to bow under north. So north 
it's either going to be and north is up here and there's a smiley face under it or there is a bow and the post equinox is the bow and so as i look at this um you know far out it does look pretty straight but as i look close i can see well that points to the left but that points on the line and then that point's coming off the line and that point's coming off the line oops that point's coming off the line there see this line here and then there's a shadow of the line here so don't get confused the lines over here on the left and these points are coming off coming off coming off that one's on they said um they had someone else marking some of these points um at at midday here and there was a request to make them uh, more accurate and that's that's one of the important one of the important takeaways um or you know it, it just if we can mark our shadow tip as accurately as possible, like we really want to see a point. Like I want to see that point. <laughs> when I look at these shadows, I, I want to, I, like it, it can be hard when you've got these big marker points. Like if things are really close like this to try and figure out what's going on. So I can't say conclusively. Um, I'm going to say, again, they felt strongly. It was the 20th. But looking at this, there's also the potential it was uh, bowing towards the north. Uh, and this might have actually been a post-equinox curve. So um, that is, um, I put, I changed this during a meeting and a discussion today. My, my first hand on here the 19th, but they, they felt strongly it should be the 20th. So um, that makes two of these that are, are um you know, they're, they're just saying the 20th because they felt strongly about the 20th. But, I mean, it could have been the, this one. I, I just don't know what to say about that. But this one could have been, uh, if it was actually post-equinox curve on the 20th, that would have been a straight line on the 19th, which would, again, support the international date line being back here. So it, it's a tough call, unfortunately. It's just a tough call. So, um that is about it really i mean there were uh some of these other ones as we jump back across to the united states um and and juan carlos he was collecting in chile this year but unfortunately he uh he had to stop on the 17th so we, we didn't get to see what happened after that for him but um yeah some of these other ones uh, i think um you, you can just check out their data but post equinox curve was seen on the 20th so that would support the 19th for the united states just coming back to the actual east coast because we started with me in west virginia and there was one other in georgia that uh i guess also was uh looking 10 hours of data i i don't know why i didn't make that one green but yeah that looked like a pretty solid witness so that is um i'm trying to give that to you the short version but it ended up being over 30 minutes anyway so um i wish i could tell you with 100 percent certainty when it was but it, it's just or, or where the creator's international dateline was but it's just really unfortunately tricky this year it, we've we've got a lot of data sets here that Unfortunately, they're just not solid like these ones. I just, there are reasons to potentially they could go one way or another, and it's just, it's just hard to say. Uh, I mean, and, and <laughs> some of them are, it, it could be one way and, and some another. So just to wrap this up, um, it, it, again, it looks like from this data, from the people who like felt strongly about their data and then a couple of these that actually seemed like they did have the potential it's not ideal but they had the potential um seems like the creators international dateline might be on the east coast of um, africa did i say east west coast of africa but uh the other possibility is um you know some of the, some of these other other witnesses and and just the the questionable if things could have actually been one way or another, like like this one, this had nine nine point twenty five hours of uh, data, and it looked looked like it was splitting the data set 
like right up the middle, like it would have been the straight line on the 19th. So, I mean, it, it's a tough call. Uh, but I would say, you know, look at everything, make up your own mind, but it's definitely, uh, it could be Creators International the 8 line was off the West Coast, or I would say there's a fair possibility that it actually landed where we were kind of projecting it would and uh, it's just going to take until the next fall equinox to uh, test again. Hopefully we get a few people around the earth to uh, practice again. And uh, if we get enough, we might be able to tell if the Creators International Dateline in the fall is somewhere in the Indian Ocean or if it's coming back over, uh, over the United States here or, or in this same zone here. Uh, so I think that'll be a good confirmation then. But um, yeah, that's that's it for now. That's that's the sundial update on um, the report. I may come out with a absolute final conclusion if people, uh, I don't know, I I may not come out with an absolute final conclusion. <laughs> um, but yeah, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out, comment, uh, send email at a voice of truth and love at gmail dot com or feel free to uh, join that Facebook group. And uh, we, we pretty much, anything happening with uh, Sundials, uh, we're trying to keep this, this group updated uh, live with that stuff. So yeah, I, um, uh, that, that I, I, this is where I leave you. So I, I, pray, uh, I pray that the Creator gives you peace about the decision you make uh, you know, and um, I pr pray that you are blessed as you continually seek him in truth and love with a pure heart.